Hi there, students. If my memory serves me correctly, I haven't made a video on this phrase, if my memory serves me correctly. You could say, if my memory serves me right, if memory serves right, if memory serves as well. OK, so this phrase just means if I've remembered the details correctly, if I've remembered uh, what happened correctly. Now, I'm sure most of you are quite young and you remember everything um, very, very clearly. Pure, pure, perfect recall. But, well, for me, as the years go by, um, I remember things more or less. I've met this guy before. If memory serves me, um, I think his name is Jonathan. If my memory serves me right, his name is Jonathan. So notice as well, if my memory serves me right, don't confuse this with it serves me right. I put my finger in the electric plug and I got an electric shock. It serves me right. I deserve it for doing something stupid. But if memory serves, if memory serves me right, um, let's see, I've been here before. If memory, my memory serves me right, we should take the next turning on the left. OK, if memory serves me correctly, if I remember um, correctly. And that's the, the idea of this. Um, if memory serves me, last, last time I met you, you were looking for a house. Did you actually find it? Yeah, well, if my memory serves me well, if my memory serves me correctly, um, Last time we were together, um, your son was looking for an English teacher and I've got the uh, perfect person to do that for you. OK, so if my memory serves me right, yeah, and this is saying that you don't have a, me uh, a memory like an elephant. Maybe it's uh, a bit more like a sieve. OK, so if I remember accurately, if memory serves me right, um, if memory serves, your birthday's on the 15th of January, yeah? Um, the, um, their children's names are Simon, Jonathan and Sarah, if my memory serves me correctly, yeah? Um, if my memory serves me right. Um, I, we, we met exactly a year ago today, if my memory serves me right. So... I guess this is um, a qualification saying I'm not sure if my memory is as good uh, as good as it is or as good as good as it used to be or as good as um, it's expected. But if my memory serves me, if memory serves, if memory is at my service and doing uh, what I would expect from it, then this is how things work. But it's an invitation. Please do. Um, correct me about this if um, I've made a mistake or maybe if my uh, memory is going down memory lane the wrong way. Um, so um, if my memory serves me, there was no transla easy translation of this word. Yeah, um, you're, you're saying that um, if I remember it correctly, yeah, um, you use this when you think of uh, when you think you remember something, but maybe you've got a little bit of doubt. You're saying if you you've remembered the details correctly, yeah. If you if you think you've got it exactly right, um, okay. So you you think you remember, but maybe m maybe not. If memory serves me correctly, um, you're. Um, your middle name is uh, Heighton, okay? So if memory serves, if memory serves me correctly, um, if my memory serves me well, as far as my memory goes, as far as memory serves, if memory serves correctly, you see there, lo lots and lots of different ways of saying it. Um, it's used to make a statement, but assuming you have remembered the details correctly. 
So, formality. I think I would give this... I think I'm going to give this a... 5.5 in formality. Maybe 6, but use it anywhere. It's a touch on the formal side, but use it anywhere. Um... Would I use this in a, a, a written in in a written document? Well, I think probably not. But it, it it's still very very neutral. I think you could probably use this phrase in a formal conversation. If my memory serves me correctly, then yeah. Um, and the origin, well, it's clear. If memory, if your memory is working properly. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. If memory serves, if my memory serves me correctly.